A Bungie slash Destiny 2 situation that just keeps getting worse. Previously, I made it my recent video. I talked about how Bungie is delaying the final shape in the marathon to 2025. When Bungie partnered with PlayStation, they literally clarified that there won't be any layoffs leading to this moment. According to this article, 100 employees have been laid off slash fired. This is horrible and sad news to the Destiny 2 community. The reason for the layoffs was underperforming sales for the final shape and sales at the studio were running 40% low. Forsaken and The Witch Queen was the most hyped season for the Destiny 2, but Lifefall was really overhyped but a huge letdown to the Destiny community. The employees at Bungie actually got received emails and text messages to attend this meeting. The messages from one of the employees said this morning my off day, I woke up to a text telling me to make my way to the the office for an important meeting. When I got there, the news had already been broken. It was a nightmare. People were crying at their desk, packing stuff up, and I checked my emails, and I got the unfortunate news I wasn't even told in person. The Bungie CEO, Pete Parsons, allegedly told remaining employees that the company had kept the right people to continue working at Destiny 2. The layoffs were largely due to Destiny 2's underperformance over the last year and lower than expected pre-orders for the final shape. Employees were also told that Destiny 2 players settlement was at an all-time low. Sources tell IGN that the issues has been flagged to leadership reportedly for months prior to the layoffs, with employees begging for necessary changes to win players back. This whole time, they were actually listening to the community that wouldn't make so many changes, but the poor management of Destiny 2 caused this to happen. The layoff decisions came directly from Bungie's management, not Sunny. This is not about Sunny's replacing Bungie employees with their own people. Many employees benefit through not health insurance only last until the end of the month. If you're let go, laying people off on the 30th means a single additional day of coverage. Many employees have uninvested shares as a result of the sunny purchase. These shares would be received based on staying with the company for a certain number of years following the sale. But those share revert to Bungie if you leave, even if you're fired, which is what's happening now to many of those affected. The seasonal content for Destiny 2 was the same every season. It was getting old and boring for players needed a change, but nothing was really happening. Each expansion cost you around $50 to $80, and that's a price for a full fledged game. Each season felt the same, even Destiny 2 themselves said they don't want to overwhelm us with too much content. It wasn't even the employees fault, it was the poor Destiny 2 management which led to this massive layoff and a lot of people upset and not happy. I'm going to give you an example of a few content creators that want this game to change. I just wish they would drop everything all at once so that I could just <laughs> binge everything and then put it down and play other this drip feed style keeps me like playing other games and then something new comes out every Tuesday and then and then I leave that game and I come back here and then I go back to the game at the end of the week and then I come back here. I hate that. That's why I hate one of the reasons I hate the <laughs> season pass system. I hate being told at the pace that I am to play Destiny. Destiny 2 does this thing where each season you go to a specific person, complete bounties, farm weapons to get a better role, recycle content from Destiny 1 with the content that already exists in the game. I am not impressed with the recent seasonal content because it's the same thing every season and that's one of the reasons why i stopped playing destiny 2 because my friends me and my friends used to play this game all the time we, we would do raids and we do dungeons and it was pretty much fun farming for weapons the rinse repeat cycle of each season just got so old and boring especially what glad said is you should be able to play at your own pace and not wait to like every week during reset and it just it's easy to level up the battle pass in this game because you just farm up bounties and it's free xp but the seasonal battle pass gets really annoying because you have certain amount of days like 100 days to even complete a specific battle pass in a certain game that you like to play but that really stops the balancing of you playing multiple games at once but that probably would make sense to a player who was stuck to that one Pacific game, but if you're stuck to Destiny 2 only, you're, you're gonna get easily, you're gonna get that done easily. But as a variety player that likes to play other games besides one game, this can be a big problem. And literally sitting here and watching this, all this happen on Twitter, and watching all the content creators and streamers evolved around Destiny, and how big this community is, and how this game impacts other people, it's actually insane. So, I'm going to wait on if we're going to get a stupid response from Bungie clarifying all this information or are they going to clarify that they're actually going to be delaying the final shape and marathon and this can be a really rough time for marathon because if it's pushed back too far or it's delayed so much it's going to be overhyped and then once the game comes out and if it's over underwhelming it's not going to do well and all this stuff happening about all the layoffs and all this hopefully this can change the future of destiny 2 honestly in my opinion i don't care if the final shape 
is delayed, but firing people over it, the core management of the team at Destiny 2 or Bungie, it really affects development of the team. And how are they going to replace this content if it's delayed unless they flip it around like I said in my other video? I'm really concerned about Bungie and this can be the end of Bungie as we know it. Hopefully they learn from, especially from Lightfall, that was the most season I was really excited for because how much hype they had around it. The season expansion before the final shape is probably shouldn't expect it to be us fighting the witness because that would be saved to find the final shape. But for the Lightfall ending, there is spoilers, close the video if you don't want to hear it. The final boss was Callus, and we've seen this dude numerous times in the existing content of this game and it just, it, it's getting annoying how they're just doing these seasons and just it's recycled 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 need they need to change their workflow for this game and they're literally killing their own game if they don't do this right and own a apology to the community or they, if they don't do something right or put out something that's gonna really encourage people to play this game or people to stay on this game or not leave to a different game which people already done that this can be a huge impact for the future of destiny 2 and we might get a destiny 3 who knows and my final thoughts on this topic is they need to get their stuff together or this game is just going to go down the drain and if it's just going to be the same thing every season every delaying and just i just don't want there to be so much excuses to why this is not getting put out or why they're not changing this and why they're not listening to the community or they're not changing this and changing that it just doesn't make sense to me but everything leading up to this actually it makes sense yeah so i'm probably gonna end it there you guys can comment below what do you guys think about this whole situation and uh comment below like the video subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification to never miss a video if any further information comes about this or, or any major news i would definitely make a video on this so hopefully we see a lot of improvements for Destiny 2 in the near future and hope you guys really enjoyed this video and uh, I'm really sad to see all the people to lose their jobs over this situation and this is this is <laughs> this is crazy um yeah thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time peace out